Yes, uh, hello to everybody, dear uh, representatives of the Czech sport, dear partners of the Games Project. Uh, thanks for the invitation to be here with you. Uh, it's your national launching event uh, for our project, and um, yeah, we are happy that we can contribute. Uh, oh, so, sorry for the noise, yeah. Uh, gender equality is... Somebody, somebody doesn't want that I speak, I have the feeling. Uh, gender equality is one of the founding uh, democratic values of the EU, as well as uh, a fundamental principle of, Olymp of Olympism and a priority of the IOC and uh, EUC's work, uh, which understands gender equality as an integral part of, of good governance. Um, the EU ambitions are fully aligned with the EUC Olympic agenda, which states that members of the Olympic movement should set a minimum target of 30% for women's representation uh, in their governing bodies, and should adapt accompanying measures to help to achieve this goal. However, in spite of the fact that there is some progress on the IOC level, on the EUC level, this progress has not yet trickled down to all national federations, NOCs, and, uh, and sport clubs, NASA. Remarkably, according to the recent Gender Equality Index in Europe, that was published just a couple of weeks ago, Women continue to be underrepresented in sport, constituting only 25% of the members in the decision-making bodies in 2022. This unfortunate disparity reflects the border hierarchical challenges that women face in areas of our society. For Czechia, the journey towards gender equality has not been as rapid as in other countries. While there has been some progress in the 2023 Gender Equality Index score, Czechia is consistently and significantly behind the EU average. And this gap has, unfortunately, widened over time. However, despite these challenges, we must not lose sight of the positive strides being made. The Games Project has embarked on a mission to dismantle the existing gaps and reshape the way in which sport operates in terms of gender equality. It seeks to create pathways for women to reach the le uh, to leadership and decision-making positions within National Olympic Committees and National Federations. The conversation about gender equality is currently at the heart of the agendas of National Olympic Committees and National Federations. As part of the Games project, we have witnessed the development of national action plans, and the organization, as of today, of national launching events to promote this topic. In turn, the implementation of strategic roadmaps, mentoring, leadership training programs, quotas within NOCs, media guidelines, and public annual reports are some of the tangible outcomes emerging from the Games project. Yet, it should be acknowledged that behind these accomplishments stand a dedicated cohort of individuals, so to say champions of gender equality in sport, who are promoting this agenda forward in Czechia. The Czech team of the Games project and the Czech Olympic Committee's Equal Opportunities Commission deserve special recognition for their relentless efforts in Czech sport and as partner 
of the Games project. In the face of the inspiring development, the EUCU office is positive that gender equality in Czechia will be a story of progress and hope. It will provide growing opportunities for women in sports, creating a sporting sec sector that is safer, more inclusive, and more welcoming to all. And it will be the basis for even more successful Czech sport in the future. Thank you very much for your attention and commitment to gender equality in sports leadership. So. Thank you, everyone. And uh, I'd like to start apologizing because my Czech is pretty terrible. Uh, probably as bad as my English, uh, no worse. So please feel free to interrupt any time if I'm not making sense, but our apologies, I will not be able to deliver in Czech right now. <laughs> I'll need some extra time. But I'm happy to be here today. Um, thank you all for taking the time to be here. Um, the scope is to present you with the games project. And then throughout the next few hours, then you will hear more about gender equality. Um, so the games project. The games project um, actually started in March 2021. And uh, the scope of the project is actually to support um, European NOC to promote gender equality. But actually wanted to be a real practical project. So we wanted to support NOC in creating tailored strategies to, to boost gender equality in leadership position in their country by looking at cultural barriers, looking at potential pathways for women, but also looking at structural barriers. So the idea was to try and to help NSCs and so for the NSC to be able to reach to member federation and national stakeholders to really make a change to boost gender equality, especially in leadership position amongst different countries. And in particular, the project involved eight NSCs. So the Czech NSC, the Belgian NSC, um, the German, the Greek, the Irish, the Latvian, North Macedonian and Turkish. And all of these eight NSC have exchanges, uh, good practices, um, challenges, common good practices, um, and they've also benefited from the expert guidance of iTransport, uh, represented by Roland Jack, that will be delivering a presentation shortly, and Professor uh, Emerita Kari Fasting, that she represents equal rights in sports. So thanks to these two experts and the commitment of the eight NOC and the support of IOC and the EOC JEDI Commission, which stands for Gender Equality, Diversity and Inclusion Commission, the project of games in the last 24 months has been very concrete in delivering some strategic changes within this eight NOC. And so what we have been doing in the last eight mo uh, 24 months is exactly four main steps. The first one, and uh, Roland I trust Port will explain to you in a bit, was this baseline study on gender equality and leadership position. So this was prepared as the first step of the project, and the idea was to send a multi-layered uh, questionnaire addressing gender equality to the NOC, within the NOC, and across a, a set number of major federations. These included summer, winter sport, individual, and team sport. Um, the result will be explained by Roland, but thanks to the Czech because they disseminated this question to all federation and the result was very impressive. So thank you for that commitment. So once we actually work it out, which one was the status? So we did the questionnaire, we looked back at the questionnaire and we assessed where are we with gender equality in different countries and across different sports. And so we move on next, based on this information, each energy start design and implement a strategy to boost gender equality within their NOC and among member federation based on their stage of readiness. And this is exactly what we, the NOC have been working on, is these roadmaps to reach specific objective for gender equality. And I congratulate again the Czech NOC because circulate that to you before and they have the booklet which very well summarize what they foreseen to do from now to 2029. And indeed now they're working from next year, starting with the implementation 
of this activity. Third point was exactly what we're doing here in Czech. This is the seventh national launching event that we organize in the framework of the Games Project. The first one was Belgium in April. Um, the last one will be Turkey at the end of uh, mid of December this year. And so this event really aimed to start the discussion with all the national stakeholders about these strategies. So we know strategies can be very useful when they are not on a shelf, but what actually when they get implemented. And that was the idea. The idea was to present to you the National Action Plan today, present to you the Games Project, and get you on board to start this conversation for the future. This has been done in other seven countries, as I said. But let me spend a bit more time talking about this National Action Plan and National Launching Event. Just a couple of, of, uh, of minutes. And here really is just to show you that in each nation action plan, the NRC has identified their vision, their mission, their objectives, and a set of action, concrete action to reach specific goals. And they include quota, they include representation, they include pathways for women, cultural changes, because we know then sometimes sports tend to replicate what happen at large in society. So our goal is really to try and to tackle all dif different layers. And also about how women, for example, are portrayed into the media. So there is really true, a lot of different aspects than this national action plan foresee to tackle. Um, this unfortunately did not have a photo of today when we did the presentation, but next presentation I promise will be you guys here. Um, and the idea is this is just one other example to show you how these national launching events are trying to promote attention. And also to say that there will be some media attention after this national launching event. So feel free to far this share and disseminate about this and really launch this message. So we have eight NOC, they're working separately in eight countries, but they come together to really promote this topic of gender equality and put the recommendation that IOC and EOC might have into practice, thanks to these two events as one of an example. But the good things there, there is one more thing coming up and can benefit you all. These last things coming up is called Games Pool of Action. As the name might say, is uh, basically a manual of concrete action to boost gender equality in sport leadership. It actually divided into three pillars, structural change, cultural change, and pathways for women. Under each pillar, you have a series of recommendations by IOC and IOC in that realm, but you also have a series of action known as fundamental action and optional action. The fundamental is those that we believe are core for each organization to reach gender equality in sport leadership. The other ones, the optional, are those that, depending on the stage of readiness of each NOC or each sport organization, you can't decide whether to pick it at this stage or to wait a bit longer. Most importantly, this pool of action also include a series of example, concrete example. So it's not only an action, but actually other federation, other NOC, other organization have implemented this action. That can help you to show how to concretely implement this action within your context based on your stage of readiness. Also, we have included a series of advocacy strategy, lobbying strategy. It's not always easy to convince others why it's important that specific action to reach gender equality or to boost gender equality. Hopefully with these strategies and some of the rational ideas behind this action, it really can help you to explain why you have decided to put this action and why this action is gonna make a change within your environment. One other thing that we have included in, and something that we really care a lot is the monitoring evaluation. It, we can implement many things, but if we don't monitor and evaluate how well that's going, it's probably not really useful. So we also have included a series of monitoring evaluation measure, including both qualitative and quantitative approaches uh, based on the pillars, so that you can also think about, okay, I'm picking this action, I see this example, that's how I could do, that's the recommendation that I'm aligned with, and actually these are the monitoring measures that I will need to reach that. We also um, align with some of these um, transversal topics that were mentioned in the high-level group of the European Commission, so the importance, for example, intersectionality, uh, among other, or other topics. So this is also an opportunity to look at this different element. Um, the good things that we are currently working on it, 
um, is not publicly available, but will become publicly available in February 2024, and will become publicly available on the Games website, and also will become publicly available on the EOC Office website, where you have the Good Governance platform, which includes a series of tools to boost uh, good governance in sport uh, as a whole. Um, of course, I also would like to invite you to, to have a look at this document once it will be publicly available. And hopefully some of you will be able to attend at least online the Games final conference that it's foreseen on the 7th and 8th of March. So please stay tuned and follow us on the media and try to be present at least online at the Games final conference so you will hear more about the pool of action and show some of the action then. So again, I'd like to thank, thank you all for being here. Thank uh, the Czech Nussi for inviting us and for organizing such a, as an event. Um, good luck on the road to boost gender equality in your country.